All right, today's principle is not original with me, but it was something that was told to me a long time ago, and it's been sticky, and it's kind of become my own in my own different way. And so I'm gonna share it with you today, hoping that maybe it finds some stickiness with you as well. And it's the principle of the sunflower seed. Is anyone under here? Where's the sunflower seed? How about over here? I just need a sunflower seed. I looked everywhere for a little sunflower seed to have on this video. I know my kids eat them. They have them all over the place. And even though I couldn't find a sunflower seed, just kind of, you know what a sunflower seed looks like. It's, it's the idea of the sunflower seed, the principle of the sunflower seed. When you eat sunflower seeds and you're my kids, that means stuff goes everywhere. It's literally in clothes, it's in beds, it's on the floor, it's in the closets, it's in socks, it's in bags, it's, it's, it gets everywhere. But growing up as a baseball fan, growing up playing baseball, Sunflower seeds were like the thing. You had to have sunflower seeds during a ball game. But when you eat sunflower seeds, you don't eat the whole thing. It's like crawfish. You eat what you need to eat and you get rid of the rest of the stuff. When you eat a sunflower seed, you put the seed in your mouth, you pop the shell, you eat the seed, and you spit the shell. You eat the seed, you spit the shell. You eat the seed, you spit the shell. That is the principle of the sunflower seeds. In your lives, you're gonna be constantly be given sunflower seeds in different ways. Sunflower seeds of Christian principles, sunflower seeds of leadership principles, sunflower seeds of compliments and feedback, sunflower seeds in your professional life, sunflower seeds in your personal life, you're gonna be constantly be given little nuggets of sunflower seeds. And it's your job, your opportunity to decide what is shell and what is seed? Seed is that nugget. It's that thing that you want inside of you. It's that thing you want to grow. If you take the seed out of the sunflower and you plant it, you're gonna get this beautiful flower because it is the seed that brings growth. Seeds in our lives are those principles we wanna hold on to. It's those feedbacks we wanna hold on to. It's those things that we want to become us, part of us. We want it to grow out of us and bring forth fruit and change and make us better by having that seed inside of it. Shell, on the other hand, is pretty useless. You spit the shell, you get rid of the shell. Shells are supposed to go anywhere and everywhere. They're useless, they're to be thrown away. They're already gathered up, they're to be just getting rid of. Shell is the thing that you just throw away. And in life, you get to decide what is seed, what are the things I'm holding on to, what are the things I wanna allow grow in my life, and what a shell that I need to let go. What shell of a relationships that I used to have that no longer bring growth, they're no longer healthy for me, they're shell, I need to let them go and throw them away. What a shell whenever it comes to feedback or, or principles or ideas or growth or things that people are saying about you as a person, a professional, uh, a, an entertainer, whatever it is that you do, what a shell. What are the things that you just throw away? That's someone's perspective, that's someone's style, that's what someone likes or doesn't like. I've been a YouTube content creator for a couple of years now, but now over the last two years, I've been really focusing and producing some of the most content I've ever produced and watching things and learning things and seeing what excites me, what doesn't, what do I like, what do I don't like, how do I get better, how do I edit better and all of these things. And I remember in one of my videos that I posted almost two years ago now, somebody said, this was way too long. And I thanked them for that feedback and I threw it away immediately because it was shell. You have to learn what is shell. What are the things that are useless? They don't help me. They don't take growth. I don't want them inside of me. I'm just gonna throw them away and then what seed? How can I get better today? What is the thing I want to take hold in my life, hold in my heart, hold in my soul? What are those principles? What are those relationships that are seed relationships? These bring growth to me. These bring life to me. For me, that's Tiffany Lejeune. That's our pastors here at Home Church, Pastor Todd and LaDonna. It's David and Alina Daigle. It's Clark and Amber Wiedner. It's it's, it's Jason. It's, it's so many. I can sit here and I know what's going to happen. I know what's going to happen. I'm going to lift somebody out and somebody's going to get mad at me. So I'm gonna stop naming names. But you get the point. What relationships in your life are seeds? You want them down deep inside of you. And what are shell that you don't let bother you? You move on from them and you grow from them. The powerful principle of the sunflower seed. Learn in your life, in your leadership, in your profession, in your personal life, 
And in your walk with God, what is seed that's going to take hold and what is shell that should be disposed of? I hope that that's a blessing for you. I want you to experience the best relationships possible for your life with the ultimate relationship being with Jesus Christ. Same at natelejune.com where we share leadership principles, ideas, usually in the form of short talks, but also in these slightly deeper dives where we share little principles, little ideas that can help us grow both in our leadership and in our walk with Jesus Christ. As always, I hope this was a blessing. And until next time, God bless. Yeah. Smash that like and subscribe. subscribe. subscribe.